Hi, my name is Parker Anderson, and I'm one of the medical family therapists with the Duke Cancer Patient Support Program. And I'm Ginger Jalanella, and I'm also one of the medical family therapists with the Duke Cancer Patient Support Program. So today we're going to take a deeper dive into medical family therapy and answer some common questions about the service. So Parker, let's just start there. One of the, one of the big questions that comes up is what is medical family therapy? So medical family therapy is a service that's available to patients and families receiving care at Duke. In collaboration with our cancer care team, our licensed psychotherapists uh, provide support to patients and their loved ones as they navigate and cope with the impacts of illness. While we often work with couples and families, we also provide individual support with emotions and relationships at the center of our work. Medical family therapy is available across our DCI locations and our services are offered at no cost. So seeking support won't add to the financial burden of cancer. And therapy is safe and confidential. So it's a place for you and your family to feel comfortable sharing. So Ginger, what are some of the general things that come up in session? Uh, what do you talk about? Yeah, that's a good question. And it's one that I'm often asked when I talk to patients for the first time. So we talk about a wide variety of things. Some of the general things that can come up can be how a patient and, and their family copes with or adjusts to a diagnosis of cancer or of news of progression of an illness. We talk about coping through treatment, managing side effects. We talk about um, coping with the feelings of uncertainty and loss of control that can come with the diagnosis of cancer. We talk about fears of recurrence or worries about cancer progressing. We talk about um, parenting through a cancer experience um, and with caregivers, what that's like for them and caregiving stressors. Mm -hmm. We also talk about very important things such as sexual health and intimacy, um, coping with changes in the body after cancer, and self-image and how all of that can be impacted through cancer. We talk about the ways, um, so that's just a general overview. We talk about the ways that cancer can really touch all aspects of a person's life. Mm -hmm. So Parker, along those lines, one of the things that comes up is how will the medical family therapist know about my particular type of cancer? Good question. So our therapists are divided up by different cancer types. Uh, for instance, I cover uh, breast, GYN, and genitourinary cancers. So we're able to form relationships with your specific cancer care team. Uh, and honestly, we learn so much from the patients and their own unique challenges. While our knowledge isn't medical, we are attuned to the unique ways that cancer and the physiological changes associated with different cancer types impact psychological, emotional, and relational well-being. Well, Ginger, if there's one thing you'd say to someone who is considering reaching out for support, what would you say? So I would say, give it a try, let's talk. Uh, diagnosis of cancer can be a life-changing event for a, for a person and their family and their support system. Um, and it's normal to feel distressed through this experience. So having a safe place to talk as you and your family, as your support system navigate through this experience is important. So let's talk. Mm. What about you, Parker? What would you say? Mm. Uh, and I'd say uh, that you deserve support. Cancer can affect so many parts of you and your family's life. It's normal to struggle and we are here to help. So please reach out.